Hi, this is my third in a series of canine massage and today I'm going to focus on the rear and the lower back and the hips and the back legs. Before we get started with your massage, yes, you'll notice that my dog is green. She's been in the pool every single day for <laughs> probably two months now. <laughs> this is not a natural color. <laughs> but before you get started working on a massage with your dog, make sure your dog doesn't have anything severely wrong with it, like heart disease, a broken bone, sprains, strains, an active infection, a skin infection. You want to wait until everything has cleared up before you get started massaging your dog so you don't risk causing any further injury. Um, but massage is really great for relaxing your dog, relieving pain, restoring some balance, increasing blood flow. Bailey's had a stroke, so she has really poor blood flow in her back legs, and she also gets really stiff in her hind legs. You can see that they shake a lot. So massage is one of the best tools that we have to sort of warm up all this tissue to help her have more <coughs> flexible joints and to feel more comfortable. Uh, it's a great way to relieve hip dysplasia pain because dogs with hip dysplasia have real sore joints in their back and pretty much every older dog has lumbar spinal pain. So get in there. You know, you don't want to do too deep tissue massage, but get into those muscles. Don't work around any bones, um, but get in there and just, you know, rub around and see if you can loosen up any tight areas. You'll find that it's an incredibly bonding experience for you and your dog. I love massaging my dogs. I'm Leslie Gallagher. Thanks for watching.